All right, guys, this is Android Cowboy, and today I want to talk to you guys about an, um, an app called Exposed Installer. Now, uh, a lot of the advanced uh, sort of Android users will probably be uh, familiar with this, but if you're not, if you're new to uh, Android sort of rooting, this is definitely an app you'll want to get, especially if you have, uh, for example, a Nexus device. Now, I have to admit, I used to be uh, a flashaholic. I used to have an S3, and I would constantly be flashing new ROMs because I was always looking for that next future. and you know, some ROMs would have one feature but not something I wanted. I would constantly be changing, and it can get tiring because you have to restore all your apps and everything. And then uh, I discovered Expose, and then I also got a Nexus 5. And now I am as happy as can be, and I'm done flashing. And one of the reasons I bought a Nexus was because of the stock experience of the stock Android. But even with the stock, there's still some things missing that you want. And what Expose does is an app, Expose Installer, that lets you basically get all those features that you want in a custom ROM without having to install it, uh, without having to install the custom ROMs. And obviously, root is going to be required for this. So, if you have a device, Nexus 5 or other device, go ahead and root it. And once you really want to install Exposed Installer, uh, that's the app right here. And uh, I'm going to have a link in the video. Uh, uh, you can see the link in the video now, and there's also a link in the description. So once you install Exposed Installer. What you'll want to do is come in. The first thing you have to do is, is actually install the framework, which is required. So you'll just click on the framework here. And you can see up here, mine actually shows that it's active because I've already installed it. But you, you will need to hit the install slash update. And once you do that um, and reboot, then you'll have this where, it's, where it shows that it's active. And that's, that's all there is to, to doing that, which is pretty easy. Once you do that, what, what Exposes does is allows you to install modules. And these are basically. Uh, in essence, sort of apps that run within Expose that lets you do the, some of the things that you uh, that you want, and these modules can be found in the download section. Now, I'm going to cover two of them, which are very, which I think are the most useful right off the bat. The first one is definitely Gravity Box for sure. That is the absolute number one uh, one that you want to get right off the bat. It's called Gravity Box, and that's going to give you tons and tons of tweaks right off the bat. I'm going to go extensively through that. The second one I recommend is also App Settings. That also gets you, lets you do some DPI adjustments on apps, which I think are very useful, especially on a Nexus 5. So let's look at uh, uh, Gravity Box. So first, what you will do is go down here and find, these are the modules, so you can just go scroll through and find what you want. And once you uh, find, for example, Gravity Box, then you can... Uh, then you can download it and install it. Sometimes it requires a, a reboot for it to take effect. And once you've installed it, uh, then what you want to do is go into modules and make sure that it's checked. So here, for example, we have Gravity Box checked. And once you do that, then it becomes active. Then it's just an app that you can run. It'll be in your app section. So Gravity Box, you can open it here. So let's look at Gravity Box. Let's take a look at Gravity Box here. This is a uh, this is an important one here that I think has so many uh, so many features that. Uh, for sure, you can you, you want to use this right off the bat. So one, you can see right now, tons of options here: lock screen, status bar, navigation, power, display, phone, media, uh, launcher tweaks, hardware keys, applications. So tons and tons of stuff. So let's go through some of this because I don't know if you've uh, uh, if you notice, maybe you can't see my uh, yeah. Let me tilt this up here so you can see my notification actually. If you notice on this Nexus 5, I have a center clock, I have a battery percentage. Uh, those are all uh, things that are not normal on um, on a Nexus 5. Those are all coming from Gravity Box, and I'm going to show you how to do that uh, right now. So let's let's start with, uh, for example, lock screen, uh, lock screen tweaks. Okay, let's go into that. So right off the bat, you can unlock ring settings. Right, so you can put uh, certain applications in your ring which you normally don't have. So let's take a look at that. I've already done that, so let's unlock it. So you can see, first of all, I have a, a maximized widget which uh, normally is not like that, and I've done uh, that comes from Gravity Box, and I'll show you the check mark for that. When I tap on that, you can see I have a battery arc. Uh, that's also comes from Gravity Box, and now you can see I have shortcuts that I can go to. And again, those are all comes from. Uh, the settings here under unlock ring here. <clears throat> Once you unlock it, you can set different applications here. For example, uh, you want you can even change the uh, uh, the ring sizes and everything as well. Um, now you can see I've shown I've check marked the battery arc. You can enable torch, uh, which is basically a flashlight. I've check marked the maximize widgets, which I like. You can remove widget limit. 
um, lock screen rotation, menu, quick unlock, tons of stuff just for your lock screen right there. Okay. The one that's probably more stuff inside of it that you can really tweak that makes it nice I like is the status bar. Tons of options in status bar. Uh, one is the quick settings menu. Um, obviously you can uh, turn on the, uh, for example, master switch for quick settings. Uh, and now with this you can, <clears throat> these are your quick setting tiles. You can, um, you can obviously choose which tiles that you want now. So you have tons of options for tiles. Uh, not only that, you can reorder the tiles however you want. So you can move things, uh, you know, switch them uh, back and forth, and that will take an effect here. Okay. Uh, you can increase the number of tiles per row. Uh, you can change the tile behavior. You can allow, uh, you know, allow show the network LTE mode if you want. Um, I like this auto switch because what this does, if there's no notifications, and it will quickly bring down your quick tiles menu. And I like the quick pull down edge. So on a normal Nexus 5, if you pull this down, it always brings down the notifications if you pull down on the right or anywhere actually. Um, but you can do a sort of tablet. If you do the quick pull down, you can make it like tablet style where if you blink down on the right, it brings down the quick tile, but on the left, it brings down the notifications. So I really like that. Um, and it's something I've implemented in mine. Uh, you can you got you've got some cluster menus which you can separate for example the data uh, from your cellular service here uh, status bar colors you can change it I kind of like the black as it is obviously notification drawer background one is very big one is pie controls I love pie controls and uh, I've enabled pie controls when an expanded desktop highs navigation you can have it always for example let's switch it to always now when I switch it to always, you can see I have, I'm going to have uh, Pi controls. Whoops, let's go back. All right, let's go back to Gravity Box. Uh, you can set Pi controls, uh, you know, whatever you want. For example, right now I'm going to set it so when it's expanding this stuff, hides the navigation, which is on the bottom. And if you do a power menu, and again, this, this extended power menu comes from Gravity Box as well. So now if I go, you can see I've, I've removed the soft keys. You no longer have the soft keys. And now what I have is Pi Control. You can see I also have different colors for Pi. Um, I've, set, I've set the colors myself. You can see the red and green kind of Android cowboy colors uh, that we like here. Uh, you can change the size of it as well. You can change the position, um, the trigger position as well here. I just have it on the bottom, but you can switch it to anywhere you want or everywhere. And again, you have the option of setting it always or never or whenever you have expanded desktop. So that's uh, that's Pi menu right there. I'm going to just remove that for now. Um, battery settings, uh, you know, you want to show the battery percentage or not. I, I like to see the battery percentage. So as you can see, you can toggle that on and off. Um, uh, battery text size, you can change the, the size of it as well. I mean, again, lots of tweaks here. Uh, what else? Brightness control, that's a nice one. If, if you click this in the bottom, you can actually, uh, using the status bar, you can actually, you can, as you can see, you can just scroll on the status bar and you can increase the brightness of the device. So that's a pretty neat feature. Um, so let's look at the <clears throat> also navigation bar here if you want to mess with that. Uh, I haven't done much with the navigation bar. Uh, power tweaks is good. Advanced reboot menu. Again, this this uh, this reboot menu comes from here by enabling that. Uh, again, you can also do um, you know uh, extra reboot. So when you go to reboot, you have the you know soft reboot, recovery boot loader. This comes from uh, checking these marks here. And again, screen record for example, you do a screen record. You can do screenshot. Uh, again, these all comes from here as well. Uh, phone tweaks, uh, you have flip action mode, uh, flip action mode here. Um, you have uh, call vibration, full screen caller. Um, again, tons of little options there. Media tweaks, if you want to skip tracks with volume, expand the volume panel. Um, so for example, when I hit the volume, you can see I have an expanded volume panel. Normally you're not getting that. Um, you can lick the ringtone. Again, tons of options there. Launcher tweaks if you want to change your number of rows and columns, which is uh, you know, on the default launcher if you don't have another launcher. And then application launcher if you want to 
uh, for things for hard keys, which <clears throat> I haven't messed with as well. And some mis mislaid tweaks uh, um, equal, for example, like when you long press here, you can change the um, you can change the position of, of the clearing of the task from here. For example, you can move this bar from the top to the bottom. This can go from the bottom to the top right, which, whichever place you like to put that. So you can switch the position of that. I have clear always at the bottom left, for example, is where I like it with the task ramble at the top. And you can change the margins for that as well. So, so you can see gravity boxes, tons and tons of tweaks. You want to get that right off the bat. I think it's definitely a must have if you want to expose. Now, the other one I want to show you guys is app settings. I really like this one too. Now, this is, this is going to let you tweak on a per app basis, both the DPI uh, DPI of an app, whether it's basically tablet mode or the, uh, the screen resolution, you can force it basically to tablet mode. You can force it into um, uh, full screen or immersive mode. So that's pretty nice. Um, so for example, um, I will show you guys that let's say look at Google Plus. You look at Google Plus here, and I've changed the DPI because normally on the Nexus 5, the um, Nexus 5, the DPI is is too um, is too big. So let's look at Google Plus here. Um, let's bring that up. Let's just do a search active. Okay, so Google Plus. So I've set the DPI to 440, uh, which is much better. If I I'll show you if I turn this off and I save it, and let's launch that. Uh, Let's launch that. You can see that it's kind of it's kind of bigger. Let's see. So I prefer to have a smaller, um, like four, like ten, for example. Then that way you can get a little bit more um, on the screen. So you can see now it's smaller. So you get a little more on the screen. <coughs> Excuse me. Now that's definitely more useful, especially. Um, uh, especially like for Gmail, like the Gmail app is way too big, the DPI. I definitely prefer uh, prefer a small DPI. What's also nice is that, for example, I've also set this to immersive mode, if you notice here. So you can force a full screen to immersive or prevent it, if you like. So I have a, <coughs> I have a set to immersive mode. So as you can see, when I launch it, um, the soft keys disappear. And, you know, I have to scroll down for the soft keys and the status bar to come back. So you're basically getting more full screen, uh, full screen uh, there as well. So that's a pretty nice feature. That's a pretty nice feature as well. So if there are some apps, for example, media apps or things that you like to have full screen. For example, the YouTube app is already by default immersive mode uh, that it goes into full screen. But maybe there's other apps that you like for that to have immersive mode. So that's, that's what's really nice about this is that it really lets you tweak sort of the DPI, because I think the DPI on the Nexus 5 is set a little too high. So these are the two apps that I think are very useful that really take the stock Nexus 5 and makes it uh, so much better and adds you those little tweaks that makes it the way you like it exactly and kind of uh, without the need to install any custom ROM and enjoy the, the stock Android experience but the way you like it. So if you have a Nexus 5 or even other device, Check out Exposed, and um, maybe you won't be flashing uh, so many ROMs anymore. And that's uh, that's us Android Cowboys out. You know, please subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on Google Plus. Take care, guys.